Hello guys, welcome to the channel, hope you're well. This is a new game called Marquette. It's a puzzle game. It's episode one, or maybe just a brief look. We'll see how we get on, don't know. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell for more. It's much appreciated. I'm all about the feedback, so comment below. This will help the channel in growing and developing. So, I've not looked at it. Don't know what it's about. All I know is it's a puzzle game. It's just come out. Um, so we'll see how we get on. The only thing I did do is go into options. I've turned down the background music because of copyright potentially. Um, and then strangely there were some graphics options which I set to high. I'm on the PlayStation 5 so why wouldn't you? So yeah, we'll see how we get on. See what it's all about. First look. Hello, sunflower, eh? Is that me, sunflower? I've not been called a sunflower before, but anyway. Right. So, yeah, it may seem a little bit strange. Without any background music, because that probably sets the scene quite well, but especially in a puzzle game, but it's um it's just not worth it. We might have to can change the control speed because it's all a little bit erratic at the moment. I lost my keys last night, so I turned everything inside out trying to find them. Oh, that's a well-known thing, I think. Well, that's the jump button, but it's the smallest jump I've ever seen. Look at that. I say we don't need to jump anywhere, and I'm presuming it's down here. All looking quite linear. In my search, I came across a box that was long overdue to be opened. To interact with a lever, aim at it and press square. Well, trophy already. That's good news. Nice sound effects of the door there. Right, so we've got two ways we can go here. Leading around to the same. Oh, hello. Forgotten objects from my life together. A graveyard of inferior. A jumbled timeline. So it's just set in the scene. It's a puzzle game, so I'm waiting for a puzzle. Oh, here we go. Matches from the fancy place for the noodles you like. Strange. Very strange. Some old records we picked up on our Sunday thrift store trips. You have a little sit down? No, can't do that. I'll make sure I'm not missing any more text appearing on walls or I don't think I'll make too much difference, but anyway. Well, it's a unique art style that they've used in this game, fits really well with a Puzzle type game, not that we've come across any puzzles yet, but I'm sure we will in a minute. A toy block from that hilariously disastrous weekend we tried babysitting your nephew. Hmm. 
all these strange sayings. It's like looking back, it's... How that's going to fit into the puzzles, I don't know. Between a handmade birthday card, a filthy guitar pick, and Monopoly houses. I found our sketchbook. Now we're getting somewhere. The one we would take turns drawing in, but back when we didn't know each other's secrets. I found my keys, but I missed my train. Uh oh, he's missed his train. To carry an item, you can hold aim and press square. So there's the key. Oh, I've got a little sort of vibration of sense through the haptic feedback then on the controller when I picked that up. Made quite a nice little noise of the metal dragging across the stone and then like a sensation on the pad. Circle talks between holding an item in front of you and dropping it. Little click when it drops, it's quite nice. Oh, and you get a little uh, noise come out of the dual sense because I'm playing on PlayStation 5, the dual sense controlled out of the um, speaker as well. Try not to with the key, hold it in front of you, and move towards the lock. Yeah, there's no turn involved there, that was automatic. All I had to do is stick the key in, so off we go. We need to take that out, do we? I'm presuming. And tell me it's going to be the same, um, well, that's no good, is it? Using the same key and different doors. It's not very safe, is it? Well, it won't let me move forward until the doors open. I presume I'll take the key again. If not, we'll just get rid of it. Can we run? No, it doesn't look like it. Things are brightening up here. Right, so the camera's taken, I haven't got control now, the camera. I just couldn't stop turning the pages and looking at what our past selves were able, were capable of imagining. The garden's trophy earned. Hmm, not a trophy just for pressing any button. Right, surely we're going to be... Um, well, we've appeared here. I've got no idea. Um, we walked through a door with a key, didn't we? And then all of a sudden we're stuck in the corner of a... the outside of a palace or something. I don't understand how that's happened. Anyway, let me out. Yeah, this camera sensitivity is definitely too... Um, Now that looks like that would open up and the floor would. Um, I'm presuming we can't go through there, no. No, let's just have a little wander around. Does this mean anything? No. They definitely look like hatches, so maybe there's a hatch in each corner and they need to be released, maybe? I don't know. Right, so as I clicked on that, that glowed, obviously, because it needs a key, so somewhere we've got to get a key to get that door open. Again, I'm guessing. We can't do anything on those boxes. And why that's green, I don't know. And then I'm presuming there's another one in that corner. Now, nothing to do with this. Why is that flashing up? So you get a little cross marker there, flashing up. Does that move? No. But definitely something strange about it. It's going to have to move to get through there, but... Um, you don't get the little crosshair come up when you're looking at other objects, so that's obviously a point of usefulness of some sort. Oh, here we go. A little cutscene. Uh, hey, sorry. Um, do you mind if I sit here while I wait for my coffee? Oh, uh, yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, don't worry. It only spilled I'm a little. I'm such a klutz. Oh. <laughs> Is your sketchbook okay? Um, yeah, unscathed. It's, uh, it's just doodles, anyway. Can I see it? Oh, um... Oh, this is a cool castle! <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, I just started drawing again. I used to sketch constantly, and then, I don't know, I just stopped. So did I. 
I mean, there was a time in elementary school when I was the girl who was good at drawing. The girl who was good at drawing? I remember that girl. Everyone was always like, oh, please, will you help me with my poster? I don't want to draw hands. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to draw hands. I'm five years old. <laughs> well, let's see how far you've come since your toddler years. <laughs> okay. Um, you're drawing in an upside down. Hey, there is no right or wrong way to draw in a sketchbook. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Oh, uh, wow, that's my order. That was fast. Um, I'm Kenzie, by the way. I'm Michael. It's nice to meet you. I just gotta run. Bye, Kenzie. Okay, so it's not quite what I thought halfway through listening to that, but that's two strangers just met in you know, a tea bar, coffee bar, something like that. Cafe, who knows? Both sketchers and drawers, didn't realise it. Seems to be a little bond there between them. They're obviously strangers, but... Ooh. I don't know if there's going to be anything here. So we should see how that develops. I'm presuming those little cutscenes will appear every now and again, and maybe they're the ones that are drawing this well. Who knows? Oh, hello. Let's go back underneath there and... Have a little look at this. The sketchbook opened right to the drawing we made the day we first met at the coffee shop. There we go, look. So it was all a bit of a story, but it was already written above the door. So, oh, okay, so that's opened up. Oh, wow. So now we're inside what we can't get out of effectively. Um, this is a mini version, I'm imagining, of where we are. Yeah, because we've just walked across that bridge and we've just seen that, intro, that cut scene. Uh, we're now in here, effectively. And we can't get out of it. Oh, oh. Okay. Move that. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to remember how to get rid of the block. Right, okay. So if we come out of here now, we've moved this. Okay. Not that maybe we needed to be doing that, or that's going to help us in any way, but it's given us a bit of an idea about um, how we unlock, unblock, maybe. There's nothing we can do with that, because we haven't got a key. Um, there's no other buttons other than jump. So, let's just go into the real world again. Now, I believe I've moved that block from here. So I'm guessing we're looking for a key or something that is going to lead to... What's this? Looks like a little lift. We're not going to better reach up there, surely. No. And there's nothing um, on there. Oh, more writing. We spent afternoons drawing together on backyard patios in the Mission District. Do we jump down there? Well, if we do, how are we going to get back up? Well, I'm presuming this... Right, let's just go for it. We don't care. Here's a first look. Yeah, that's what I was presuming this would be able to take us back up. Okay. So, not that I'm expecting it, but still no key just lying around. Um, in these sorts of games, you have to just look in every corner and look at everything. That's the thing. There's another puzzle. Could be. So, what? There's a switch there, and there's a switch... Th Oh, 
Boom. What's that Donald doing? Oh, maybe I need to take this back. Picnic brunches in parks. Yeah, that's what they were having, obviously. There's no more text that I've missed. So maybe I need to go... And that switch takes it back up. No, I want to drop this. Why can't I drop it? Maybe that'll come up with a lift. Why is this lift not working then? Mm, that's strange. I would have thought that that... I'm just figuring that this should be in that mini version that we've come to. From... Oh, hang on, maybe this will take us up now. Yeah, because the lift is working. Okay, let's grab back all of this. I just saw that other switch on the outside and thought that was to get it to work. So this must have to go somewhere in the... Ah, oh, I see. I, s oh, I say that, but maybe I don't see. Um, while holding an item in front of you, L1 and R1, L2 and R2, leaves it in and out. Turns it around. Precise placement. Yep, oh, that's definitely not precise placement. I'm presuming it's going... Um, oh, why is our one I'll one and that not working anymore then? Oh. Well, it's all a little bit awkward actually because right let's just now believe me this isn't me being a complete idiot but because you've got a small amount of room to maneuver it's all the camera sort of seems to be getting stuck and you can't move very strange. Come on, pick it up. Well, I'm presuming that's from there to there. Can't be for the bottom to be set on. Stick it out in front of me, but it takes it miles away from me, and I don't want to. I want it. But when you got to move around, well, these are very, very clunky controls. Oh, now I'm outside of the thing again. You can't jump to get back in whilst holding that. Strange. I don't deliberately need to make it this clunky, surely. It's a very strange... I can't really explain how clunky the controls are. Um... It's like they're making it overly difficult to be fun or to be precise, but is that going to create a bridge? It doesn't even look like it fits there, but it's creating a bridge. Right, I tell you what, let's go back, have a look. Oh, that's something lit up white then, doesn't it? Again, that's gone to a little cutscene. Building something in front of me now, is it? Or just highlighting everything? Changing where we are? Wow. We may do another episode on this. Quite intriguing, not normally my sort of game, not the sort of thing I'd want to put on my channel particularly, but it was really going to be a first look, potentially first episode. But um, I should imagine it's reasonably short. There's something quite intriguing about it, I think. What we'll do is we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, we'll come back for, I think, a second episode and see how we get on. 
Um, we'll take another look at it. We'll carry on. We'll try and keep these quite short. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell. Any feedback's welcome as it helps the channel. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. And have a good day. Thanks for watching.